Let's have a word of prayer. Living Father, I do come to you in the precious name of Jesus. And I do thank you for your grace, your mercy. Uh, thank you, Lord, for your understanding. Uh, thank you, Lord, for God, the Holy Spirit, Lord, who bring scripture back to our remembrance. And most of all, thank you for your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for our sin, who was buried and rose from the dead. He's alive forevermore. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Give much wisdom. In the name of Jesus, I pray and do good things. Amen. Okay, pray for all the saints. <clears throat> We were looking last time at uh, <clears throat> James 1.19 and uh, 1 Peter 5.7. We were looking at those verses again. But uh, I want to go over a couple more scriptures because uh, we're looking at James 1.19. Uh, it should be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to write. Okay? <clears throat> so I'd like to go turn to uh, Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. That's Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7. And seven, and I like to read those verses. <clears throat> and verse six read: Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be known unto God. And verse seven: <clears throat> And the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And uh, so I'd just like to read this. Actually there, did you hear? Did you hear what the scripture said? Okay. The scripture says, be careful for nothing. Now, I know the other brothers have touched the scripture. I've touched it many times, and they have touched it many times. But the scripture says, be careful for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. And uh, can we, when I apply James 119, did you hear that? Did you hear? The Lord said, be careful for nothing. But in everything, and that's all. Everything. Have we heard that? Did we hear it? In everything. Okay? And uh, let me make sure I, I want to get it right here. Okay. Be careful for nothing. But in everything, okay? In everything. Everything. Now, we use a scripture, and I know it's on the prayer list most of the time. We know it's on the prayer list all the time. Uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, and 18 on the prayer list. 1 Thessalonians 5, 17 says, Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Okay? Now, uh, the last time we, uh, we looked at 1 Peter 5, 7, it said, Cast all your cares. Cast all your care, let me make sure I got it right here, upon him, for he cares for you. We have to meditate on that. That would mean to throw. Cast all your care on me, on him, for he cares for you. Isn't that something? He said, be careful for nothing, but in everything. And then he said, cast all your care, all of them, on him, for he cares for you. So we'd like to turn to uh, now James 119, James 119, and uh, we went over there, we kind of uh, tried to highlight it last time, highlight it last time because uh, we said we're going to try to do it in application uh, for like marriages, uh, Jobs, singles, and uh, I, the Lord has had me to use the verse many times. But we want to look at the verse the way it is, okay? So we'd like to look at verse 18 first. Verse 18. So we get the context of, of the verse. And verse 18 reads, Of this, of his own will. 
and God hear us with the word of truth that we should be kind of his first creatures. Now, he's talking about the word of truth. Everybody wanted to know the want to sure want to know the truth. But the Bible is the word of truth. Truth. I know when uh, John, John uh, 831, 832 says, if ye continue in my word, and then it says, then are ye my disciples indeed. And we're, and we're speaking on something with Paul right there. But then it says, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. And then verse 36 says, if the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Okay? Then we come to verse 19. <clears throat> verse 19. And verse 19 read, Wherefore, my brethren, wherefore, my brethren, that every man, every man, said every man be swift to hear. Now, do you know it may be swift to hear the word of truth. That's what we're talking about. It would be very good before we come to church on Sundays is to pray. You see, because that's where at church that where Satan does most his work. Well, a lot of work. A lot of work on the believers. You see, because We are to be swift to hear the word that's coming from this pulpit here. And we'll be swift to hear someone that's counseling us. Okay, counseling us. We need to be swift to hear. Now on Sunday when we come, Satan will do a lot of, a lot of work on Sundays because he wanted to mess with our minds. Okay? But James 1.19 says, be swift to hear the word of truth. Be swift to hear the word of truth. And, uh, and then it says, be slow. Okay? Make sure I got it, make sure I have it right. Be slow to speak and slow to write. Now, when it said be swift to hear, we're hearing from the Lord out of God's mouth. That's what the word of God is. That's God's mouth speaking to us. Uh, and we want to take heed to the word of God. When we hear what the Lord says, like uh, for instance, Sunday message, we're talking about pride, when we truly hear the word of God, we may hear some pride in us. And once we hear the word of God, we can go to the Lord in prayer and say, Lord, thank you for your word. And I was swift, swift to hear your words. Now, Lord, this, what I heard Sunday is, is an area in my life that I need to commit to you. And I'm going to commit this area to you. See, that's what we mean to being swift to what? Swift to hear. Then we can pray back to the Lord. Pray back to the Lord. But then, if we're being, uh, it said be slow to speak. Now, and slow to wrath. Now, I know uh, the Lord had me speaking on uh, uh, do we hear and understand? And uh, we, were talk, we were speaking on DC and TC, okay? Well, that involves money, involves money. And it may be somebody here that is not swift to hear that because the Lord said, you know, I want you to learn how to be content with such things as you have. 
And then he said, over in 1 Timothy chapter 6, when you put me first with contentment, it is great gain. And you may have somebody that said, no, said, this is my money. And I don't need nobody telling me what to do with my money. And I heard what the word is saying, but I work for this money. And I don't need nobody telling me what to do. Well, you're not following that verse right there. See, because it says, be swift to hear and slow to speak. Slow to speak. So when the, when the Lord is speaking, when the, when the word of God is being given, we need to pay attention. Our mind needs to be clear so we can hear what's coming from the pulpit, what the Lord is speaking on. What the, Lord, what the Lord wants to know. And uh, when we do that, then we can, uh, we can grow. We can pray to the Lord about those areas that are hindering us. And that's what, this is what the following verses said. So let me read some of those. It said, be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. Okay? Slow to get hot. Slow to get mad. Especially like we were talking about the money uh, in the area of money. A person can get hot when you talk about the money. See, because uh, the singles can, can get hot. The married couple can get hot. See? Because uh, the singles say, no, no, look, you can preach to me, but don't tell me what to do with my money. And the married couple, some, some married couple, they say, well, they do everything together. But the money. See? So you give them, you give them have a little, a little taste of that. So, no, no, you can preach all right, but don't tell me, this is my money, and don't tell me what to do with it. So I know that the scripture said we're one, but we're not one when it comes to that money. And I can understand some, some reason, okay? Now, let me read, let me read uh, if, you get, if a person gets hot, let me see what, show you what the scripture said in, the, in, the, in verse 20, okay? Verse 20, verse 20 reads, For the wrath of man, for the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. Now he's not paying attention to that, he or she, not paying attention to that second part. The first part said, be swift to hear and then slow to speak. And when we go to James chapter 3, we can understand that a little bit. Because he talks about this tongue. See? It talks about a big boat, a big ship where people can control. And it talks about the horses, the bitch where people can control. But then it says, this area right here is like deadly poison. It, it, well, it's hard to uh, control. That's what I call the J3C. Okay? Now, so when we are swift to hear, this is what will happen. We'll go to the Lord in prayer and tell the Lord the truth. Because we're getting the word of truth. So we tell the Lord the truth. So uh, like for Sunday, yes, Lord, uh, I got some pride in my life. And uh, I know that's not pleasing to you. And Lord, I want you to, uh, I want to commit it to you so you can help me in that area. So let me read verse uh, 21. And 21 reads, Wherefore, Lay apart all filthiness and superfluity, naughtiness, okay? and receive and receive with meekness, with meekness, the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. But be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. Now, when we are swift to hear, slow to speak, we are listening to what the Lord is saying from his word, the word of truth. And that word might be working in our area that we need to confess to the Lord. And we can tell the Lord, say, yes, Lord, <clears throat> I want to confess that area to you. And 
I ask you to help me in that area. But when you're talking, just keep talking and talking. When the Lord said, be slow to speak. There's a problem there. There's a problem there. Therefore, we must come back to that first part and be swift, quick to listen. To listen what the Lord is saying. And when we are listening to what the Lord is saying, that's when we can, that's when God the Holy Spirit will bring uh, areas in our lives that we can, where we can what? Confess to the Lord. So, like for the night, be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. And we started with uh, Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Be careful for nothing. Be anxious or worry about nothing. But in everything. And do you know most of us uh, we worry about everything. And we let this bother us and this bother us. But when we take God as his word, he said, be careful for nothing. You know why? Because he's in complete control. He's in control. And we get a lot of battles from Satan. And it causes us to, to worry and fret. But the Lord is in complete control. I mean complete control. Nothing gets by him. Nothing gets by him. So tonight we, uh, we're looking at uh, be swift to hear. Slow to speak. Slow to wrath. And if we don't do that, eventually, eventually, we're going to come back to that first part where the Lord told us from the beginning. He said, listen, be swift to hear my word. Talk to me, pray to me, and commit those areas to me. And I will help thee. I will help thee. So that's, that's the part we'd like to uh, stop right there for the night. And next time we'll look at, um, we also can use this in application, okay? We also can use this in application for counseling, uh, husband and wives, uh, kin folks. We definitely can use them in jobs. So it has many, many applications, but we wanted to look at this uh, in text, in context first, okay? In context first. When we are swift to hear, we're going to start laying aside, it says, all filthiness. We're going to start laying, what we're doing wrong, we're going to start laying that aside, apart from us. We're going to make that apart from us. And we'll begin to walk in the newness of life, like the Lord, like the Lord wants us to walk. So be swift to hear, slow to speak. Question, did we hear Philippians 4, 6, and 7? Did we hear 1 Peter 5, 7? Cast all your care on me. Cast, that's what the Lord said. Cast all your cares on him because what? He cares for us. Isn't that so? Isn't that so? I think God told us from call unto me and I will answer thee. And show thee great and mighty things. Thou know it not. Brother David spoke on choosing. 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 Brother David, fear ye him. When we hear words like that, and we are quick to hear. Then real quick to pray. And say, yes, Lord, that, that's me. Help me in that area. And commit it to the Lord. So we'd like to uh, stop right there for the night. And we'll pick up next time. And uh, I want to give an invitation. And the invitation is uh, to everyone. And it says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Verse, verse 17 says, For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. What God's word is saying, everybody can get saved. Everybody can get saved. We've been going into the jails, I said about 40 years or more. We have never asked one person, never, Ask one person what you're in here for. You know what? That's not our job. 
Our job is to go and give forth the gospel to every creature. We give the gospel and they receive the gospel and get saved. What they doing, what they have done is none of my business. My job is to go and give forth the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ died on the cross for the sins of all mankind. All of every last one of them. And that he was buried. And that he rose from the dead that he's alive forevermore and wants to come into your heart if you will receive him. What he did for you on that cross. He died for you according to the scripture. That he was buried and rose from the dead according to the scripture. And you can receive the Lord this day. But pray like this. Dear God, I am a sinner. And I'm truly sorry for my sin. I want a new life, Lord. I want to be saved. And I ask you to save me. I believe you died for me. Buried and rose from the dead. Come into my heart and save me. And leave my life for me. In Jesus' name I pray and do give thanks. Now let's close in prayer. Dear the Father, we do thank you, Lord, for your word. Lord, to be swift to hear, slow to speak. To be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer, that our request be made known unto thee. And the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. We thank you for your word, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray and give thanks. Amen.